Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and today I'm going to review the new Colourpop Wild Nothing palette. As soon as it has been released I knew that I wanted this palette because the packaging is so so beautiful. I love these desert vibes. I'm such a fan of the whole boho desert theme that is going on at the moment and they totally got me with this collection so I knew that I wanted this palette also the inside is so beautiful at first I thought it would be too warm for me but I'm so much into warm tones at the moment I don't know what is going on but I'm kind of loving it so I thought this palette would be a great match for me and I'm going to show you some swatches here you can see that the tones are very light and peachy corally warm tones, some mid-tones and one deeper brown shade. So for me personally, I have a very fair skin tone. This is a perfect palette for me because every shade in this palette I can use. Nothing is too deep for me because I like something to deepen up my outer corner, but I don't like a ton of very deep, I don't know, metallics or shimmer shadows. So I prefer them to be a bit lighter and every shade in this palette is beautiful and perfect for me so I would say if you have a deeper skin tone maybe that's not the palette for you maybe you want to look into some other palettes from Colourpop I mean they have a lot so maybe another palette is a bit better suited for you but for me this is perfect and I love the color story of it and now before I blabber on let's hop right into the tutorial so at first I'm taking my Morphe R39 brush and I'm taking the first color in here which is a very light um, cream color and it's called Crystal Cove. It has some kind of a glitter in it. I'm not the biggest fan of that but it's okay. And it's light enough to brighten up my brow bone area and to dust it a bit under my brow bone. Then next I'm going in with the color Top Down which is a very light peachy pinky shade. And I would say if you are more of a lighter or medium skin tone, this will show up as a lightening shade. So, or maybe you can use it as a setting shade for your lid. But for me, it's showing up a tiny bit and you can see it. It's a good transition shade for me. So it's evening out the area in my transition zone. And then I can go in with a crease shade afterwards and I have a very nice blend. Then next I'm going in with the color Morning Side and this is a beautiful beautiful light orange color I would say or maybe a peachy corally color and I'm also going to blend this color into my crease and also a bit on my outer corner and I'm again using the same brush as before and this is a beautiful color it's showing up so bright on me and I can really see the color it's beautiful I haven't I don't know I didn't think that it would be so bright so I really love this one as you can see this color is a bit more on the sheer side when you first apply it but you can really build it up and it's a beautiful shadow love the quality so far every shadow has been beautiful then next I'm going in with a bit of a smaller blending brush and I'm taking the next shadow which is called hot springs and it's kind of a bit of a mauvey rosy mid-tone shade and I'm trying to deepen up my outer corner with it and I think that this one is a bit too light for my outer corner I'm going to deepen it up even more with the color no bounds it's the dark brownie color and I'm kind of mixing the two colors together I'm dipping my brush into the brown color and then into the mauve color and then I'm I'm blending them onto my outer corner and as you can see, I'm also bringing this color a bit onto my mobile lid and I'm staying very close to my lash line. Now I'm going back in with the color we used before, the light orangey color, and I'm just blending over the edges. 
Then at first I thought that I would just wing out the dark brown color with my blending brush, but I think I want it a bit more precise, so I'm going to add a bit of winged liner now. And I'm just using the brown eyeshadow because I love doing winged liner with eyeshadow, I'm obsessed with it. And it's so much easier than to use a, a regular eyeliner pen or something because it's so much easier to clean it up, it's easier to apply. I have more control and it's just so much easier for me, so I'm, I'm a lazy girl, I want the easiest solution for everything. So I'm just taking an angled brush now and I'm dipping into the brown shadow. And then I'm just applying it along my lash line and then I'm winging it out on the outer corner. I'm going to apply a bit of the color Coastline. It's a very light, almost like pearlescent, light pinky cream color. This is a beautiful tone. I love this one. I think that this one will be the perfect inner corner highlight for me. So I'm just going to tap it on with my finger because I just want to create a bit of a base for the next shadow that I'm going to use. So now I'm going over it with the color Salton. I don't know if I say that correctly, but it's a very, very beautiful, light, golden, super shock shadow and it's stunning. It has such a beautiful sheen to it and I don't know, I love it. I love this color so, so much. It's so beautiful and so light and that's perfect for me, so I really love it. Now I'm just blending a bit over the edges here and there. Then next I want to use this greenish golden shade. I'm using the same angled brush as before, I just cleaned it off. And now I'm spraying it with some setting spray and then I'm dipping into this green golden shadow and I'm just applying it like the eyeliner we used before but on top of it. And I have to say that I'm a bit surprised on how good this is working because I wasn't so sure at first but it's working out pretty good. But as you can see the colors are pretty similar so on the inner part of my lid you almost can't see the color but then on the outer corner you can really see it. Now I'm just going back in with the brown eyeshadow and I'm just cleaning up the line a bit because now we have disrupted the edges a bit. So, so just to clean it up I'm going over it with my brown shadow again and making it a bit more precise. Okay, so I'm already absolutely in love with this palette. I think it looks stunning on my lid. And now let's see what we are going to do on my lower lash line. I think I'm going in with the color El Cove. I don't know if I'm saying that correct, I'm sorry if not. And this is a beautiful corally metallic eyeshadow and it has a ton of tiny tiny micro glitter in it. It's very beautiful. And I'm just taking a bit of a pencil brush and I'm blending it on to the inner part of my lower lash line. This is a beautiful, stunning eyeshadow. I can't wait to play with it more. Now I'm taking the same brush as before. I have just cleaned it off a bit. And I'm taking the color Come Together. This is a bit more of a cool toned transition shade or outer corner shade. Depends on your skin tone. And I'm just applying it on the outer part of my lower lash line. Then next I'm going in with the color Vagabond. 
this is more of a neutral transition shade it's a beautiful eyeshadow and I'm going to blend out the lower lash line with it and then I'm just applying a bit more of coastline on my inner corner and on my brow bone to lighten it up and as I have mentioned before, this is a beautiful, perfect inner corner highlight for me. I don't know what it is about this palette, but I'm so in love with it. I don't know why. Maybe because it's my first Colourpop palette that I bought since the lockdown and everything happened. So maybe it's just the excitement of a new Colourpop palette. Because I love Colourpop so much and their palettes and I have missed them so much. I don't know, maybe it's just that or it's the desert vibe of it, I don't know. Now I'm going in with the last shadow that we have and it's called Spirited and it's a stunning super shock shadow and it's basically a golden coppery glitter with a sheer base and you can top off every look with it. It's a beautiful shadow, I'm so glad that it's in here and it's stunning. It's not intense metallic but it adds tiny, tiny micro glitter particles to your eyes and it's looking so, so beautiful. I don't think that the camera can catch them really and that you're able to see it, but in real life, it's looking so stunning. So next, I'm just going to apply some mascara to my upper and my lower lashes and I'll be right back. Now here you can see our finished look. I think it's so, so stunning. This is for me a perfect everyday soft glam look and I mean it's just perfection for me I love this palette so so much I know I have said it before it's perfect for me every shadow in this palette is perfect it's so rare that I can use or that I want to use every shadow that I have in a palette so I'm so happy that I got it I was so unsure when I bought it it was like a very you know it was a very fast decision. I knew I wanted to have at least one new palette for my channel this month and when this has been released I just immediately bought it and then I was like oh no was it the right decision I don't know and then I have seen so many people say that it's a boring palette and there has been a hashtag where they rearranged it and um, did their own color story and so and I love that I mean it's so much fun I love that I love um, doing my own color stories with palettes and I have already played around with this one as well. I have added some greens to it and some lavender shades and it's also beautiful but it's also beautiful the way that it is. So I just thought that I have been missing something and that it's not a good palette or not a good release or something and so I feel like because I had such low expectations I was even more excited that I like it so much. If you have a very fair skin tone, I think you would love it too. But if not, then maybe that's not the palette for you. If you like these colors, if you like the color story, the quality is perfection. So I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. I didn't get this palette in PR, I purchased it myself and this video is also not sponsored. Oh, I wish I would get PR from Colourpop, that would be a dream come true, but for now, I have purchased it myself and I couldn't be happier about it. So thank you all so so much for watching, I wish you all a beautiful day.